guys, it's 8, 13, 23. Um, I got this at 12, 44 PM. It's for the church, the leaders and the church. The first one, the church. When it hits, the people panic, have no fear. Do not pay attention to the people. At this point, pray around the clock as much as possible. Prayer is your best weapon. Those in prayer will be protected and provided for. Do not listen to man and his fears or frustrations. Just stay focused on me. Recall that I allow things to change hearts. Pray aggressively for my protection. Pray aggressively for the lost, for their chains to be broken and hearts softened so they can turn to me. Pray for the full power of my mighty angels so they can fight with full efficiency. Rest in my peace. I am the Lord God Almighty and I warn. What is to come is to stir all men, except those who rest in my confidence, love, and protection. I see from on high whose hearts trust me and love me. These are my church. I protect and provide for my own. If you temporarily are afraid, stop and turn it over to me in prayer. Then read my words and I will grant you my peace. If you trust in man, you will fail. If you trust in a false version of me you will lack peace seek the true me in my word if this occurs those that worship a false god will turn to them and this will fail only i will sustain only i grant peace through the chaos follow my words and you will be at peace through the chaos the chaos is a visual reminder of where people's hearts are a physical example of how few trust me. Pray for the lost that they find me. Those at peace, true peace in me, are sanctified, holy, and they trust and obey me. If you lack peace, turn to me wholeheartedly. The time is now. Prepare to see things that shock and amaze and cause people to fear. Do not fear. Those who are of me do not fear but they trust me fear is from the evil one pray that evil be bound from you and that your mighty angels keep your surrounding areas of your home and family peaceful even hopeful because your redemption draws near do not believe your eyes do not seek out the news they will try to add to the fear do not take part in any panic-based activities. Rest in the fruits of the Spirit. Trust that I will keep you from now until your proper harvest. I am the Lord God Almighty. I am all-powerful. I am all-knowing. I am all-loving. I will keep my own. Trust. Pray over your property and family. Pray boundaries of protection. I hear my own. Pray as much as possible. This is your secret weapon. Some will go. Some will stay. I decide, not you. I know who is best fit for each role. I have the wisdom to know who needs more time to grow in me and who is fully ready. Recall when these go that you should not grow bitter, but rest in my peace. Recall that I know how I plan to use you and grow you. Do not listen to man, listen to me. I soon will speak to each with faith, true faith in me. I love each of my children. If you go or stay, it has nothing to do with your salvation or my love. Who goes is to lead. These have been pre-chosen and prepared, trust me. I have a multifaceted plan. Trust me. Do not rise up in pride and become envious or bitter if you stay. Be grateful you get to lead and bring in the halfborns and see my miracles happen. All with humble hearts that pray as I have told, who trust me with full faith will lead. You will be used in a mighty way. Prepare by praying and asking me to give you a content heart with whatever situation you are found in. 
I love a humble heart who is joyful in any circumstance. These joyful ones are filled with my Holy Spirit and want what I want, not what they want. Review the Exodus process. You have choices to be like those swallowed by the earth or to be joyful servants, grateful for your deliverance. Choose now how you will react. You have had ample warning and instructions. You are ready. The next few months will be intense, but with each challenge that evil and darkness aim at you, if you have full faith, I will defeat the efforts from them and bless you with the unexpected. What evil means for harm, I will turn to good. Just keep believing and praying powerfully. This is the call. Believe with your whole heart. I hate doubt. I am the God of the Bible. See my character. I do not change. I am the God that delivers. I am the God that stops the sun. I am the God that brings judgment. I am the God that provides water and food out of what seems to be an impossible situation. Nothing is too difficult for me. Nothing. Rejoice. The time of sorrows begins. Soon in a few months, I will gather you all to me. This is the time. Yes, my time is tricky, but it is now. Trust. Now I was told to read right here, Psalm 91, and then it goes right back into the same uh, prophecy to the church. Okay, Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So it goes back in. You will see man's plans begin to unfold. They have layers of plans to bring fear and control. It will be obvious to all. Hold on to me. I am the safe anchor in the storm. Prepare to be my lighthouses, my beacons of holiness to a dark world. It begins. You will see. Turn fully away from the world and turn fully to me. I am the God who saves. I am the only hope. Hear me. Pray. Pray around the clock. Here is where we turn the tables and begin taking the end in our favor. Be a part of my powerful revolution to bring a Holy Spirit filled healthy church home to be the bride for my son, the one and only Messiah, Jesus Christ. My faithful church, I love you. This is the time to fight in prayer for the battle is won through my prayer choir. I have seen the harvest already. You will not fail. No matter what your eyes see, recall you are mine and I will pull you through. You are ready. This is the beginning of many hearts turning. Rejoice. Pray. 
Number two, leaders, my Benjamin tribe, my leaders of the end times, my holy anointed ones, it is time to rise. Stay deep in prayer as much as possible until your name is called. I will gather you one by one. You will be brought here to Geboa. You will be purified and brought before me. Do not fear. I call those with whom I am pleased. Have no fears. You are prepared. You are ready. We will train and you will have more skills. Be at peace and pray with all power. I gather my leaders. Anointed, come. Number three, church. Church, spread my name. Use my name in power to fight. I am Jesus, the Son of God. There is power in my name. No demon, no magic, no authorities can stand against me. You are my bride. Call my name. Share my name. Be my representatives. Share my sacrifice and promises. Share my words and instructions with all my Father brings to you. There is soon to be an imposter who will claim to be the Messiah. He is false. I will not arrive until I come in the clouds and you, my church, is brought to me in the clouds. The imposter will use words that sound much like mine. Carefully point out to those who try to use this as proof the inaccuracy. Show them the printed words in your Bible. Some sources of digital Bibles will have the words changed to match the imposter. Only use a printed Bible as proof to others. If they reject my words, they reject me. Do not allow their passion for an imposter to sway you or to hurt you. All will come whom my Father has given me. Some may come after you leave. Trust that my Father's perfect timing will work on each soul you pray over. Be at peace. Pray. Use my powerful name. Stay strong in me. Do not waver. Stay on the narrow path. Kindness. Treat all people with kindness no matter how they approach you. If you feel threatened, pray my holy name over yourself in protection. No harm will come to these with true faith as my Father has promised. The time is now. Now is when the church begins to stand as she should, filled with holy power. Now is when the world sees the church come to life. Like the time of Pentecost, but the church will be even more influential because there are Christians around the world. The world is in the process of changing for good. It is time. Be prepared for use. Help all you are sent with my unconditional love and kindness. Continuing in peaceful love will radically change the world. Pray for boldness with gentleness. Recall how I interacted with people. Pray to be my hands and feet on the earth. Pray to have my wisdom, gentleness, and love. Rejoice as you see miracles and millions come into the family of my Father. This is the time you were designed for. You have been waiting to be used. You have tried much without success in this wicked generation, but soon this will change and you will see the radical joy that comes from being a servant of the greatest revival ever seen in humanity. Rejoice. It begins. I hope you find encouragement in that and um, see you next time.